Hello everybody, welcome back. Dr. Doyle here and today I am going to introduce unit hydrographs. This is going to be a series of four videos and this first one is to introduce you to the topic of a unit hydrograph. And I remember learning this when I was taking water resource engineering and just thinking this was like one of the coolest concepts. So I hope some of you agree um, that this method for creating hydrographs, uh, once you learn the math, it's a pretty cool concept. So what is a unit hydrograph? Um, unit means one, right? So a unit hydrograph is um, created, it's the temporal distribution, so it's a hydrograph, which is a time series. of runoff resulting from one unit of one unit and it's going to be one inch or one centimeter for example of rainfall excess falling for a unit time. Okay, so it's an important thing to note here. Um, this is going to give us more than um, just the peak flow, which we studied um, when we did the rational method. It's going to give us a more complete picture of the um, hydrograph resulting from a rainstorm for a particular watershed. And we're looking at rainfall excess here. So remember that's the precipitation that falls in a watershed minus any storage or um, infiltration that occurs during the time stuff that we're interested in. Um, the input for a hydrograph, a unit hydrograph is a hyetograph. Okay, so we will have a distribution that has time and intensity in, for example, inches per hour. And we'll have some particular storm and we'll be able to note on this storm fall hyetograph, the excess, this is the rainfall excess, of one inch, and then everything underneath that curve is the losses. Okay. So when we talk about unit hydrographs, there's really two phases that we're going to talk about. And this series of videos is going to focus on the first phase, um, but then we'll move into the second phase. So the first phase is the analysis phase. And this is when you are creating the hyetograph. And so, or sorry, you're creating the unit hydrograph. And so you know you have as inputs a hyetograph and the corresponding hydrograph. And then you can determine the unit hydrograph. And then we have, which we will get into in the next 
phase of this module, the synthesis phase. And this is when you know for a particular watershed, the hyetograph and the unit hydrograph and you are trying to determine for a particular storm that comes through your watershed would study the runoff hydrograph. Okay. And in this analysis phase, again, which we're going to focus on here first, there are some steps in developing in this phase. So the step in developing a unit hydrograph. Okay. Step number one is going to be to separate the base flow of your hydrograph to determine the direct runoff, BRO. The second phase is going to be to find the volume of DRO, let me just define that. So DRO is direct run off. So you're gonna find the volume of that direct run off and convert to a depth over your watershed or your basin your project area. Number three is to divide the direct runoff observations by the direct runoff depth. to get your unit hydrograph observations. And then the last step is to find the time base or the time unit of your unit hydrograph. And we'll talk about this in an upcoming video, but this is going to be the duration of the rainfall excess. Oops, squeeze that one right in. Okay, so um, I here are the steps. So this is video one. The first. Uh, step is going to be video two and I'll present an example with that that we'll take through as we work through all these steps. Um, video number three is going to be steps two and three and then video four will be step four. Okay so we'll work through this in chunks um, and you'll be able to step through this through the same example working through all these steps. So go ahead and find that second video and um, pull out the note sheet where we'll follow along with our example.